Well, hello. At this point, we are well into the 2014 Sochi Winter Olympic season, so I assume at some point, you have found yourself in a situation where people around you are talking about the Olympics. So I thought I would do a service to the people who are not watching the Olympics and offer you specific phrases or ideas that you can interject in those conversations so you can make it seem like you are up to date on all the current trending topics about the Olympics and impress people with your knowledge about the athletes and the events that are going on. I thought the outfits worn by the athletes in the opening ceremonies look like the 4th of July version of a Christmas sweater. I'm hoping that Gracie Gold and Yulia Lipniskia are going to be the 2014 version of Nancy Kerrigan and Tanya Harding. I have a theory that Yulia Lipniskia is a rubber robot built by the Russians in order to bring home gold medals. I'm pretty sure that Bob Costas' eye infection is just subtle marketing for the return of the Walking Dead TV series. I think former figure skater and current commentator Johnny Weir believes that there is a costume contest going on between him and the figure skaters that are competing this year. Snowboarder Gus Kenworthy's silver medal is a result of his talent as well as karma for saving those stray puppies. The average age of the athletes competing in the Winter Olympics this year just proves that life ends in your 30s. News anchors are more interested in making the athletes cry about their deceased loved ones than talking about the actual events themselves. Seriously, some of those NBC news anchors are terrible people. I don't know, when I'm watching ice dancing, I'm really just focusing at how clean the twizzles are. Charlie White and Meryl Davis ice dance like they don't even care what the score is gonna be. Did you see the male figure skaters and their perky expressions? Did you see the male figure skaters and their perky asses? Figure skater Jason Brown's ponytail is very reminiscent of a Disney prince. I think the show that Plashenko put on when pulling out of men's figure skating was something akin to American reality television. Oh my god, did you see when iPod landed the YOLO flip? These were real terms that were used in the snowboarding halfpipe event. And no, this was not the 2011 Winter Games. The very gentle butt touching in the short track speed skating just proves that romance is still alive. I'm not sure which sparkled more, Jeremy Abbott's comeback or his costume. Sean White is so hot. Steve Langton is so hot. John Daly is so hot. The entire US men's hockey team is so hot. So I hope those random phrases and factoids about the Olympics help you out. I have been watching the Olympics basically every day it's been on since it started. So I thought it would be important not to let this expansive knowledge I have of the Winter Games go to waste. Let me know down in the comments what have been some of your favorite moments of the Winter Games so far. And thank you so much for watching. Bye! I'm hoping that Gracie Gold and Yulia Lipsnitsky the bleh 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 I don't speak Russian. Pay no attention to the man behind the curtain. Olympics. 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 Olympics.